Previously on Guiding Light. I'll take those diamonds now. Nice work, partner. Thanks. Well, with what we got on tape, this case is closed. I feel that James is going to find his way in this world. What if I don't know how to love him the right way? Because I never learned how to be a father. I loved you, Philip, and was very proud of you. Are you okay? Everything just feels wrong. The first thing you love is God, right? <clears throat> don't go out the back door till uh, we tell you. We're throwing old chingles off the roof. Okay. And we need the porch clear. Uh, looks like the porch is being cleared. Now, where do you want this? Uh, why don't you just stick it back in by the kitchen somewhere? I guess they're working on the back, so we can't use the back door mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, how long is it before we can reopen? I don't know. They said about a week. Oh, well, then that means two, at least. Well, and by then, we'll have the restaurant open. We'll also be able to like, open the boarding house, which means I'll be able to get out of your hair. I need you to be out of my hair. You know, I don't mind you living with us. I think what Buzz really wants is a place to be alone with Lillian. Oh, for yeah. I know. What is this? I Can know. I check this? What is this? Yes, that's, please. That, that's that's mine. That's, that's, hey, that's mine. Okay, listen up. What? Our guardian angel here gave us an opportunity to start fresh, start all over again, so we are going to pitch things. Don't! Not take advantage of the situation. Okay, it's done. Done. <laughs> Do we know? Who actually paid for the new stove and the, the crew to fix the roof? I'm good enough trying to figure that out. I'm just grateful. Stop. We got to get the porch clear. Okay, I'm on it. Here you go. Hello? Hey, it's me. You got to get rid of the diamonds. Pardon? Look, I know you took them, and I know you know I know, okay? We don't have time to pretend anymore. Remy, why would I jeopardize my good standing in town? Dude, you shut up. They're all... Oh, damn it, it's Frank. I can't talk. Let's take care of this. It's my case, Frank. I'm just following up. I don't think so. I think you're going to tip off your good pal Cyrus. He's a good guy. Frank. He's a good guy who's going to be in a lot of trouble, and so will you be if you don't back off. Sanchez! Darity! Need a little help here. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe all the junk we just ate. I was starving. I left the campsite before we finished roasting the marshmallows. Wait, wait, wait. Was Alan Spaulding going to make s'mores? Are uh, you kidding? <laughs> me, my dad, my granddad sitting around the campfire telling stories. Do you have pictures? <laughs> no, no, no. No evidence that the three generations of Spaulding men actually hung out together without bloodshed. And you chose to hang out with me instead. You should be flattered. I have a very short attention span. Oh, really? Easily bored. It's a sign of high intelligence. You haven't mm -hmm. heard that? Is that what James? James? I thought I heard your voice when I was at marketing. Oh, hi. Um, hey. How are you, sweetie? And, uh, no camping? What, ha what happened? Oh, uh, well, it, I think it's still going on as far as I know. And you left? Through the crowd, Nana. I took the car. And uh, came to hang out with Daisy. Wait a minute. You took the car and you left your father stranded out in the wood. How could you be so stupid? Well, I guess we should start thinking about getting back. I'll, um... No, I won't. I'll take a walk, see if I can find some place where I can get a signal and call home, get him to send a car. I need to take a look at the map to remember where we are. We know where we are, we just don't know how to get back. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find that amusing. I don't, really. It's sad. It's frightening. Not only don't we know how to get back, we don't know how to go forward. We're stuck, Dad. And we're going to stay stuck. And if James ever has a son, he's going to be stuck right here with us. Philip, I really think you're, you're, you're blowing this all out of proportion here. This is just a camping trip, son, that's all. 
I just hoped it could be a little bit more. I thought maybe there was a way that I could fix things with James. You got, you've got to stop trying to fix everything. You know? You've got to let life just unfold. I mean, life is a long journey, a long run. What if there isn't a long run? What do you mean by that? Nothing. I just trying to make up for lost time with James, that's all. Keep going around and around in circles with him. I've got to find some way to leave him in better shape than I found him. I'm sorry. You yeah. always seem to come along when I'm in such bad shape. Don't be sorry. You're going to be OK. I'm drinking alone, you know? I've drank so much that some nice person that I barely even know has my kid because I was too drunk to drive. And what did I do? Did I go get a cup of coffee and sober up? No. No, no. You ended up shooting some pool with your amazingly handsome ex husband, one of them, so and probably the most handsome he of is, the bunch, I would say. I wish I could laugh about this. I'm sorry, I feel like I was a bad one. You're great. You've always been great. You keep me out of trouble. I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble, my friend. You're making a mistake, Frank. I'll let you go once we bring Foley in, OK? My cell phone. I want my phone call, Frank! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we're not open. We're not here for coffee, ma'am. Cyrus Foley. That's me. Gary Abraham, federal agent. You're under arrest. Oh, my God. Let me call Frank. You don't have to, Blake. I'm right here. Dad, these guys, they just came right in. Green, I know exactly what's going on. And so does Mr. Foley. Everybody feels low, everybody feels high Everybody's feet are on the ground and heads in the sky